Okay, so good morning from Italy. Oh, I see it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, some Mormon. This is the stay we had it at uh, Cabane du Combal. This is a lovely place. I don't know if it's called Refugio or Inn. It has everything. The room is spacious. The food is good and the service is great. We're starting our hike at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to have a little bit of a shorter day today. So yesterday we crossed the border from France to Italy and we're heading today to Comaire and then from there we're gonna have next day is a free day where we get to kind of rest, replenish and then do the rest of a half of our hike for another five days. Mommy shark doo 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 doo. Mommy shark doo 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 doo. Mommy shark doo 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 doo. Mommy shark. <laughs> Check out this gorgeous view. Cabe in Ducombal, and we are currently heading to. Comaya. There's no Comaya here. Oh, Visa. Oh crap. <laughs> to Comaya, it's about three hours and 50 minutes, and the elevation is 1,223 meters that we will be reaching. And this morning, it's going to be all ascent for about 1,000 feet in elevation over a short distance. I don't know if you see the, the lodging we stayed last night, the steep up climb. Beautiful morning. I'm continuing to climb the mountain. Today's supposed to be a milder day of hiking, medium difficulty. The other three, four days was all considered hard. So I'm hoping today will be an easier day. I don't know if you can see the glaciers right there. And it's feeding into the river below. I wish I knew the name of the glaciers. It's an amazing sight. the steep up climb
still climbing up all the way over there. So far it's been a pretty good up climb. Um, a little portions where it's a little bit steady but never plateaued out. Uh, it's a beautiful hike because there's so many wildflowers still bloom. Um, we're doing the TMB hike in middle, we started in, well, we left the US July 18, started our hike July 20th. The weather's a little hot in the afternoon, but it seems like it's a perfect timing for the hike because we don't have to tread a lot of snow patches. And we get to see all the wildflowers. Oh. I don't know if you see, there's another glacier patch right there. <sighs> Look at this amazing view. This path leads right into the face of the glacier. And I see the path still going up there. Oh. First day I've noticed in my hike that I don't notice any pain in my knees. Maybe my body's getting used to the hike. All the elevation gain and loss. Go Hi y'all! We are on day six in our Tour du Mont Blanc, standing on top of Mont... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> standing on Mount Favre Spur, the highest point at 2,422 meters, right below us was the uh, refuge we just came from. Um, it was beautiful. We had a really big room, four beds, shower inside, amazing. The trek up was about an hour and a half. Very, very nice trek up with some pictures of the waterfalls, flowers, and now we are on our way descending down to the gondola that will take us to Comer. Also right below us is the glacier water that I swam in yesterday. You'll see a few more to the right there, and also there. And then we have the awesome Mount... Is this Mount Blanc? I think this is Mount Blanc on the other side. It's Mount Blanc on the other side. Yeah, but we got this glacier that we've been eyeing all day. And the valley below. And the awesome morning haze to look at. And I don't know if you could tell, that's the gondola over there. We'll be descending from here and taking the gondola to escape about 1900 feet in descent over a short period of miles. All right. I'm ready. Anything else to announce? No, can you make sure you bleep out that bad word? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jordana descending. This is supposed to be a mile descent. Uh, don't know over how. I think we're doing about 1,300 feet descent over a long period of mile before we get to the gondola. And um, from the gondola is supposed to be 1,900 feet descent to Komaer. And that's a very steep descent. I would say anywhere from to 70% in uh, grade, I think. And that's what we're going to try to avoid taking the gondola. Look at all the pretty yellow flowers
I think that's Lori in the background. I don't know if you could see her. Hello! It's a field of yellow flowers covering the mountains. We got the two glaciers right there. We'll be seeing most of the glacier when we were walk hiking up that one, but now we're seeing the other one right there. And it's a pretty walk. I think that's an excellent advice. Enjoy the hike, leave the mountain, don't stay behind. That's the gondola I think we'll be taking down to Komaier. That's where the steepest descent will be. So far it's been a really enjoyable hike. The TMB sign. I'm not sure what these markers mean, but I know what the arrow means. Go that way. So we're at Le Chocoit. Did a quick pit stop at not sure where I am. From Rufigio. And then we're heading to Plan Chocrox. Wait a minute, 30 minutes. Plan Chocoit. Oh, 30 minutes. I'm gonna add another 30 minutes. For me. Okay. Voila! What? <laughs> Hello! I don't like this! Hey, I'm the one that's afraid here. <laughs> Come on! Actually, that's Stretch okay. yourself! <laughs> I'm the one that's afraid. I've never been on a ski lift before. First uh, time. I've been on a ski lift without even one of this bit. I like it. Hustle, I was so. literally freaking out. I don't know why. So we're taking the gondola down to, no, ski, ski lift. lift down, down to, to that area right there. Then from there, I guess we're taking the gondola to Komaer. And I guess the city below us is Komaer, Italy. So our hike is over today. It's kind of a bittersweet. Bittersweet. I'm glad it ended, but it ended a little too early. Do you know what time is it? No. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe 12 or 12.30, something like that. Wow. This is what we'd be hiking down. So we took the ski lift from the top of there. And now we're going to take the gondola to Komaer. This is the easy way to get into the city, not having to overexert yourself. Okay. Better mode of transportation. Ooh, it's hot. Does it close? I hope it doesn't close. And hey, finally arrived in our hotel.
Okay, so this is the bathroom. The very cute. We all have. This is the first time we all have uh, two double uh, bedrooms. We're at Coma Air doing laundry um, to do a one load of wash and dry it's gonna cost 20 euros I'm not sure the difference maybe it's a drum size this one's 12 that's 10 uh, for wash it includes soap uh, and this is drying 8 and 7 euros but I think it's just a drum size um, it's a one expensive load so this is the city center shopping of uh, Komaer. We're doing, trying to catch up on some shoppings required for the rest remainder of the hike. More drinks? <laughs> The things we need to look at are right here. That's the whiskey right up there. It has 25, 18, 8, anything over 12. That's what we go for. Oh, okay. Right, that's what I thought. It tastes like. So we are at Chroma Air. Are you sending me those? Are those are videos of there. Having it no, yeah. in Italy, yeah. having dinner. All of us? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna take that up. Do the honors.